in life, your relationships determine what you get. When you are connected to the wrong people, you bring forth wrong fruit. But when you are connected to the right people, you bring forth right fruit. Every Christian is supposed to bear fruit. In this exciting message, you will learn the type of fruit you are supposed to bear and how to bear them. Get ready to experience new things in your life. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Bearing Fruit in the comment section or message window. This message is also available on the Kakrabaden app on the Play Store or the App Store. Get yours now. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakrabaden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kaka begins an exciting and empowering message titled, Laboring in the Word. Let's join in as he introduces his subject. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially those who who labor in the word and doctrine. The word elder, it also means pastor in the Bible. Then it says that there are some pastors that are supposed to be honored highly. Then it gives the reason why they should be honored. It said they labor in the word. Hallelujah. I want to share from the subject laboring in the word. Tell somebody laboring in the word especially those who labor in the word and doctrine. You know, there's all kinds of labor or work that you can do. But the Bible says that one important labor in life is you must be somebody who labors in the word. You know, one day, some people were cooking for Jesus. In Luke chapter 10, verse 41. In this story, there were two women they were laboring in different ways. One was laboring in the kitchen. One was laboring in the word. And Jesus made a comment in Luke 10, 41. He said, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled with many things. In other words, Jesus said, there's a lot of things that you can choose to labor in or use your effort or exert energy in. Then he made a very important statement. But one thing is needful. He said, amongst all the work that you can do, from typing, using a computer, cooking, whatever, Jesus said, there is one which is very, very important. He said, one thing is needful. And Mary has chosen that good part which cannot be taken away from her. In other words, Jesus said, one thing that makes laboring in the word higher than any other thing is that the word of God is forever. What this means is that the ability to labor in the word is a very great blessing. Let's read another scripture. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. Paul said to Timothy, Until I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation. Exhortation means to stir up or cheer up somebody. And to doctrine. Doctrines are teachings of the word of God. Paul was giving Timothy advice. And he said, Timothy, Give attention to laboring in the word. Verse 15, then he talks about why. Then he said, meditate upon these things. In other words, the reason why you should labor in the word is that it will help him to think. Because if your mind is full of rubbish, when you think, you just think rubbish. Garbage in, garbage out. So he said, after you have labored in the word, he said, then begin to meditate and think. And when you have labored and you are thinking, your thoughts become like the thoughts of God. 
because you are thinking with the ideas of God. So he says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. And thy profiting might appear unto all. In other words, when a man labors in the world, he will make profits. And after some time, this profit will become evident and clear. Everybody will see it. Hallelujah. There is nothing nicer than God blessing you when you have seen your enemy. And your enemy has seen your blessings. May all your enemies see your blessings. You see, but such a blessing, it comes from laboring in the world. So, every Christian, everybody who calls himself a believer, must be an addict of God's word. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that we must labor in the word because the word of God abides forever, influences our thoughts, and brings profit that is evident. Tune in same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Delivered from depression. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to pray for me because I was going through bouts of depression. By the grace of God, I have been free after your prayer. I am off all medications and I have drawn closer to God. God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.